Well, hello there. So, bad lighting, as always. Yes, um, an unboxing video of this massive thing. Um, this is, as you can tell by the very descriptive name, it's an external SCSI box. Uh, I saw this thing on eBay for 16 euro shipped to me and well I could not let it pass it's brand new in the box um, yeah as you can see it's just an, ex an external SCSI box a generic Taiwanese thing from the 90s right there uh, I don't know why it says Barcelona I guess it's where it was sent originally but it's made in Taiwan it's Ultra 160 SCSI Ultra 160 and let, let's look at the features because these are glorious uh, yeah, for five and a quarter inch up to nine bay SCSI drive they drive devices. Sorry, two SCSI Centronic connectors. I hope it doesn't have two SCSI Centronic connectors because it had uh, 68 pin external connectors in the eBay listing, and that's uh, the cables I bought. Hopefully, it doesn't have Centronics. Metal body with streamlined. Wow, streamlined plastic front panel. It looks like a generic computer tower from the 90s. Uh, to meet 9-bay requirement, the horizontal lines of the new design ap appearance on the bottom give a smoother and clear... That does not make any sense. Taiwanese stuff, everybody. Fan alarm system on the back panel is able to work when fan stops. I would like it to work uh, all the time, you know, so not just when the fan stops. Just so I can tell when the fan does stop. 300 watt or redundant 500 watt, three or, or redundant 300 watt power supply with ULCSA TUV security certifications. Yeah, that's the first um, component that I'm replacing in this box because one, I can assure you, it does not meet those requirements, and two, um, yeah, it's not going to be efficient. I expect like 60% uh, efficient. I'm probably going to replace it with an 80% and 80 plus gold uh, supply if I'm going to use anything. So let's look at the side of the box. Yeah, it just says, for some reason it says it has both power supplies. In the picture it only had one power supply and it was a regular AT power supply I don't know the other side I think is the same yep plus my address uh, which I covered cleverly it doesn't have any it doesn't have any branding on it apart from external box which weird now I think my uh, some of my viewers have seen my face already so for those of you who haven't seen it well bro you will probably see it now I try not to show my face that much but I don't care if it shows on the videos anymore uh, I'm part of the botnet already so who cares if some random people on the internet see me plus I just came from outside so I am well dressed up and everything let's see we have a manual wow this thing really is an open um, let's take a look at this SCSI ID storage devices box yeah it's a very universal thing uh, 1998 focus on that please there you go uh, still no branding I don't know I'll keep this because SCSI is a bit of a pain when it comes to configuring devices especially since I'm gonna use this on a Mac or well no I'm actually gonna use it in on just about everything I'm, I'm planning on using it on Sun boxes and Macs and well that's a sizable power cord that's that's actually quality it 
yeah, and judging by the memory of the cable, it is proper copper. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good power cord. Oh, let's turn this this thing. Let's see if we can. See, this is why I don't do unboxings. Especially not things this freaking big. There we go. That is the box. Is there anything else on the cardboard box itself? No, there is not. Okay. Good. Looks about as brand new as it gets. Let's get on its feet. Someone's sticking the panels off it already. Okay. Oh, yeah, great. Right. It, it does have the 80, uh, 68 pin, sorry, connectors. Let's see if we can do any of this like so. Let's do a big reveal. There we go. That's a box. It looks... Actually, it looks just like a little baby AT box that I have, which also does this curve. Impressively enough, that's pretty cool. Hard power switch on the bottom. Of course, it has an AT power supply. What do you expect? Take a look at the back. We have... Settings for the bus with these, um, I don't know what they're called. Let's bring it closer. I don't know what these are called. Uh, these are those that actually change. Are they? Huh. Do, oh, you push a screwdriver into these. Yeah, so you just push a screwdriver in there and it changes. Looks like we have spaces for. RCA connectors here if you want to put CD-ROM drives in there and we have external like these were standard at some point I think uh, backplane connectors well they're not quite backplane they look a lot like SBUS uh, slots in Sun machines those in the spark stations the pizza boxes and all that two fans at the top 80 mils they look like can we see the branding on those they are no name Chinesium. Great. And another no name Chinesium part, the power supply. It was. It apparently passed uh, testing, which is always good. On. Maybe you can see it on the screen. I sure as heck cannot. Uh, it passed it. 2000 and what? 2003! This thing is from 2003, what? That's ridiculous. Who was making SCSI boxes in 2003? I mean, these kinds of SCSI boxes. SCSI, of course, SCSI was still used. Well, until 2005 or so, but... An Ultra 160, not even Ultra 320. Wow, that's... 2003, that's very new. That's very, very recent for, for such a box. I did not expect that. Of course we're taking it apart. Don't, don't turn it on, take it apart. Yeah, my Australian accent, not the best. Bloody ripper, nah. I'd rather not do an Australian ex uh, an Australian impression. I'm not good at those. Let's take a look at that. See, it lifts up like old. This reminds me of the old Pentium shit boxes that were so common and are still so common. Uh, 
though they are valuable now, it seems for some reason, but yeah, let's... Yay, look at that! That looks... That looks... Cheap! But holy crap, what the hell is this? Wow, that's a lot of wiring! That is... what? What are these even? Oh, these are for the drives. You plug them into the jumper configuration for the drives. And that's how you configure the bus. So you connect. That's awesome. That's just awesome. So you connect these switches directly to the drives using these cables. That's ridiculous. Look at, look at this loom. It's ridiculous. Like, look at how many jumper cables there are. Like, it's just ridiculous. That's awesome. We have our ribbons here. Looks like we have two independent buses. Nope. We have one bus, which I'm gonna have to terminate. And I don't have a terminator. So I'll have to make do. I'll have to cut a cable that I have with an integrated terminator, use that to terminate the bus. But yeah, it looks, I mean, I could cut this cable in half, slap a terminator in the connectors I have two buses, because it has two connectors in the back, so that's nice. That's the thing about uh, SCSI, it's really cool, you, just, you can just literally cut the cable and, and terminate it, and you have two buses. Um, more cables, wow, these are all I gotta show you this. There's a lot of LEDs. Um, looks like they are hidden. Whoopsies. Uh, there's a lot of LEDs down here. No, don't know if you can see them. Yeah, there we go. And there's LED, there's LED cables going out for each drive. Wow, that is. This thing is pretty ridiculous. These are the kind of hoops you had to go through to have a serious amount of storage in the 90s. Or I guess in 2003? Who the heck bought these things in 2003? Let me take you off the tripod. And I'll show you, hopefully my lighting is good enough. Yeah, let's, like, look at this. Ridiculous. What is this? Yeah, I don't think these have an alarm on them. They don't, they aren't even three pin, they're just two pins. What do you mean an, an alarm? And they go straight, straight into the power supply. I don't think this has an alarm at all. Take a look at the power supply, see if we can get some. My power! Yay! California, my power, you're fired. I like that, my power. I, I like that power supply. Just the name, ridiculous. And let's like, seriously, I, I, I'm sorry for the lighting being this this awful, but just look at the amount of cables. It's ridiculous. Look at this. These are just for the LEDs in the front. Oh. Bag of do not eat. We'll eat that later. Uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. So yeah, now what I have to find is drives to fill this thing up. Well, it's light at least. Well, not that light. It's certainly... That, that power supply has some, some heft to it, I, I must admit. And I'm not going to see that screw ever again. Great, well look at that, that's proper grounding and everything. That's pretty cool, I expect that it to be just, again, Chinesium and that's about it. But no, this, this looks pretty cool. 
yeah, of course it doesn't have a motherboard tray. Looks like it has some holes for mounting something in here. Not sure what, because this is... Well, actually, I, I just thought a mini ITX board would fit in here. That would be pretty ridiculous, wouldn't it? And the power supply is suspended. Look, a rubber band, which has decomposed. Yuck. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's... Uh, wow. Look at that. Look at the switches. Pretty ridiculous, this thing is. So yeah. That's about it. That's the unboxing of the external box. I still don't know who made it. It doesn't have it doesn't even have a model number on it. It just it just says an external box. Well it is an external box. And yeah, that's about it. Let's take a last look at the front. These covers will certainly come in handy for that Pentium uh, box that I have with the Baby 18 motherboard and everything. And yeah, that's that's about it. Thanks for watching, I guess.